version. So currently we have just the enterprise. Now remember there's different versions of the desktop. So the, the pro is gonna be more similar to like the company sizes as the QuickBooks Online Pro, right? Or Pro Plus, right? Uh, and those for small to mid-sized companies. And then people that have the special needs might then go up a notch to the enterprise and the enterprise comes in different, what they call flavors, right? right? We could specialize in construction or uh, have the general enterprise or retail or uh, process costing stuff. So, uh, but the enterprise version has everything that the other versions have plus the added features. So I'm gonna look at the enterprise version and then you and then uh, we, we might like try to list out when, when using it, what kind of features are in enterprise and what kind of features are subject just to, uh, are, are special for enterprise and which are not uh, in special to enterprise. So most of the normal type of bookkeeping, the full accounting system, bank feeds, uh, the full accounting process, most of the general reports that most businesses need, income statement, balance sheet, accounts receivable and stuff is in the normal uh, normal desktop. It's when you get into more advanced type of reports for specialized areas that oftentimes the enterprise uh, comes into play like inventory, cost accounting and stuff like that or construction. So let's go ahead and hit the install file. Now it's installing up top. So you have your installation. It should not take too long to, to uh, pull down here, although it's a fairly large file, even the installation file. Okay, so now I'm in uh, Google Chrome. So it's currently updating with this little drop down up top. That's where the temporary file is. You could drag it onto your computer. Remember that this is not the actual, uh, the actual QuickBooks file. This is the file to run the software. So this is your startup file. Or we could just click on it from here and it should start the run process. So I'll click on it and see if I can run it from that point. So here we have the Intuit QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise. We've got the 30-day uh, free trial. QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise is the most flexible version of QuickBooks designed for more complex businesses. You might get some actual audio that will read this to you, but I'll read it to you here too. It offers the flexibility to adopt your business needs with the look and feel of QuickBooks to help you run your business more uh, effectively you will be installing a 30-day user trial if you decide to purchase quickbooks desktop enterprise you will be given options to buy 5 10 or up to 30 user license okay so we want the install the trial 2024 so this license agreement here notice there's no little button you have to actually click on it and then it opens the agreement in a browser and then of course you want to read the entire agreement because that's what you tell them word for word Word, don't even skip, don't even skip a word or else you'll be lying by checking off, uh, by checking this off here. So after you've read all that, I paused it and totally read the whole thing. Then you're going to continue and then it's going to say where they want to put it. So it's putting it under uh, the program files and this is where it's located on your C drive program files into it, QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions. So if you want it located at some other place, you can do so, but that's usually a pretty cozy, nice little place. You might want to save that so you know where it is at. So if you want to uninstall it or remove it at some point in time, it might be easier uh, to do, but there it is. And so there's going to be uh, your license information. So uh, you might want to uh, write this down because oftentimes you need that license information if it forces you to input it later, but that usually happens when you are registering the software, which you're not really doing here, you would think, because we're just using it for the 30 day free trial. So normally when you install the software, you would want to save that information somewhere, or you would have it online in your Intuit account. But I believe you don't even need an Intuit account. Uh, I don't believe in order to run the the 30 day free trial version here. So we're going to go ahead and install it says, it says uh, the smarter way to do business as we're installing in the startup screen. This could take some time, by the way, because again, Intuit, kind of uh, our QuickBooks, fairly large. 
So more room to grow up to 40 users and capacity for 1 million customers, vendors, and inventory items. Single source for true for truth across your entire business. I like that. It's a source for truth. This is like philosophy here. This is a source of truth that we're getting we're hitting on. Exclusive reporting, inventory, and pricing tools. So there there we have it. Let's wait. I'll, I'll pause it here. I won't read anymore until it downloads. And there we have it. The source of truth has been <laughs> had been installation complete. Let's go. Let's go ahead and a quick quickly open it. And so I'm going to open it up now. Uh, there there it's running. Okay, QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise Solutions product is available in several industry-specific editions. So choose a QuickBooks Desktop Industry-specific edition tailored to fit the specific needs of your business. Now, if you if you were testing something out to try to get QuickBooks not enterprise, uh, th then notice you wouldn't have this option in the installation, right? Uh, but QuickBooks Desktop would still have all the normal kind of features. If you're going to enterprise, most likely because you're in a specialized industry, possibly a larger company, uh, 